Trudeau's so-called housing plan just got exposed for the joke it really is. A leaked audit shows that his big promise to fix the housing crisis by using old military sites is a total scam meant to fool struggling Canadians. Turns out, the whole thing is a sham. The report reveals those miracle properties are falling apart and we need billions in repairs to be livable. So much for Trudeau's grand claims. For Canadians who are already drowning in unaffordable housing, this is a massive betrayal. Trudeau straight up lied about a plan he knew was due from the start, and it's the people who need help the most to get burned. But honestly, are we even surprised? Trudeau's always been quick with the lies, especially when it comes to misleading people who are desperate for solutions to the crises he causes. Once again, his big announcements fall apart the second you look at them closely. He spins these fairy tales to get people on his side, only to leave them hanging when reality hits. Now the truth is out, and his whole housing scheme is crumbling. The conservatives are tearing apart, and Trudeau's going to have to face some tough questions that he won't be able to dodge this time. Welcome back to Street Politics Canada. Before we dive into today's video, take a quick second to follow us on Twitter. You won't find the blunt truth about Trudeau's endless scandals in the mainstream media. Their liberal bias hides the real stories. But our Twitter feed breaks through the spin and cover-ups. We tweet multiple times daily, delivering straight facts on Trudeau's hypocrisy and failures. We'll leave you the link down in the description box. Tap that follow button now so you never miss our next viral tweet roasting Trudeau. Now let's dive into today's crazy developments. A leaked internal audit just exposed Trudeau's disingenuous claims that recycling unused federal properties will resolve Canada's housing crisis. The damning report reveals crumbling military infrastructure is unsuitable for repurposing, contrary to Trudeau's repeated assurances. This bombshell audit trails growing suspicions that Trudeau's pledge to convert federal sites into affordable housing is nothing but hot air. Despite touting it as an ambitious plan that meets the moment, the audit shows this to be another Trudeau lie designed to mislead struggling Canadians. The audit states at least 25% of military infrastructure dates back to the 1970s and requires significant maintenance, repair, and recapitalization. With replacement costs estimated at $28 billion, these dilapidated sites clearly can't become viable housing. Yet Trudeau continues deceiving citizens that mothballed federal properties are the silver bullet for the housing crisis. He claims we will be reviving the dream of home ownership for young Canadians by converting these sites. But if federal inventory identified only a few hundred derelict buildings suitable for demolition, these include an abandoned cattle barn in Manitoba and former penitentiary facilities. Harvey the transformative solution Trudeau disingenuously hypes. His plan is destined to flop despite more grandiose pledges to build millions of new homes. Trudeau told the Commons on May 1st. Trudeau bragged to the Commons that he put together the most comprehensive, ambitious housing plan this country has ever seen. Ambitious perhaps in its capacity to mislead. Trudeau's recycled properties won't shelter a fraction of the vulnerable citizens he's betraying with false hope. This leaked audit adds to the mountains of evidence that Trudeau continuously misrepresents his capabilities. His deceptive housing scheme follows a pattern of over-promising and under-delivering. Trudeau's pledges often quickly unravel as fantasies when confronted with facts like those in this suppressed audit exposing inconvenient truths. Trudeau has proven time and time again that misleading Canadians comes naturally to him. He seems to enjoy peddling fictions that fall apart on the slightest scrutiny. This housing plan appears no different. Trudeau must answer tough questions about this audit exposing his plan as another failure, built on exaggerations. Will he come clean about the unsuitability of these sites for affordable housing? Or will he continue the charade until it predictably implodes? Canadians struggling with skyrocketing housing costs deserve better than Trudeau's false promises. His recycled properties proposal is just another cynical ploy giving false hope to those facing despair. This leaked audit simply provides more evidence that Trudeau's flashy announcements never match reality. He specializes in flashy distractions designed to pull the wool over citizens' eyes. But Trudeau's housing mirage is dissolving in the harsh light of transparency. The Conservatives are demanding honest answers after this scathing internal report obliterated his recycled properties plan. Exactly. The Prime Minister accused the previous Conservative government, which you were a part of, of getting out of what he said, the housing business completely. What is your right. response to that? <laughs> I don't even need to respond. When I was Housing Minister, housing cost half of what it does now. We didn't have people living in tent cities. We didn't see I'll give you the stats. This is the result of Justin Trudeau's policy on housing. It's true. There's no question that our policy under the Conservative government costs less money. But it was also more effective in bringing about affordable housing to Canadians. The rent in this country is up 93%. Mortgage payments 
are up over 100%. The needed down payment for a home is up 100%. You know, these are the costs that Justin Trudeau has imposed. Now, he might brag that his policy is more expensive to taxpayers, but that doesn't make it a, a success. Failing is bad. Failing expensively is worse. We will do neither. When I'm prime minister, we will succeed at a lower cost to home buyers and taxpayers. Trudeau must quit the deception games and level with Canadians. But honesty has never been his strong suit when political survival is on the line. This leaked audit will likely join the dustbin of Trudeau's failed ideas after he squeezes maximum publicity from it. The question remains, how much longer will Canadians tolerate being duped by their prime minister's unfulfilled promises and massaged facts? This housing audit is just the latest breach of public trust that should cost Trudeau dearly at the polls. In fact, Trudeau is already trying to deflect blame by shamelessly scapegoating Canadian seniors for the housing crisis his government failed to solve. He outrageously suggested seniors are hoarding family homes that young people require. In a podcast discussion, he blamed older homeowners for occupying houses too big for them that younger buyers need access to. Trudeau claimed seniors cling to properties out of connection to neighborhood when they should downsize. I mean, one of the, one of the things that always comes up for me is the idea that, you know, on housing, you have a, a whole bunch of older folks who are living in houses that are too much house for them right now, but their connection to neighborhood, to community, means that no, they don't want to move out to the suburbs or to some different city to be closer to their grandkids. They want to be, they want to still live in their community's quality of life, and there is no housing that they can afford even to downsize other than this, other than staying in their big house. So. This sounds like Trudeau trying to shift the blame onto older Canadians instead of owning up to his own failures. He's basically saying seniors are the reason young people can't buy homes because they're not moving out of their houses. But the reality is many seniors would love to downsize if there were actually decent options available. It's not the selfishness Trudeau's hinting at. And let's be real, the housing crisis didn't just pop up with today's retirees, it's a direct result of Trudeau's poor decisions. He's piled on debt opened the door to foreign interference and tangled up housing supply with endless red tape. Trudeau stoked the fire under skyrocketing housing prices and now wants to point the finger at the very people struggling because of it. Rather than take accountability as prime minister, Trudeau points fingers at powerless pensioners. His flippant remarks expose his lack of compassion for the plight of older Canadians facing scarce affordable choices. Trudeau pays lip service to intergenerational fairness while disrespecting the sacrifices of older citizens. He exhibits callous indifference by dismissing seniors who desire to age within their communities. This is just another example of Trudeau taking cheap shots at groups that don't fit his narrative. He's got this habit of creating these strawman arguments to paint entire groups as the bad guys. We've seen it before and now he's trying to shift the blame to retirees as if they're the reason young people can't afford homes. But let's be real, scapegoating like this won't build a single new house or lower the sky-high costs young families are dealing with. Trudeau needs to stop playing the blame game and actually start fixing the mess his policies have made. Canadians of all ages are fed up and demanding real action, not these lame attempts to divide us. His comments just show how out of touch he is, flailing around trying to find something, anything, to distract from his failures. But people aren't buying it. His finger-pointing and loud talk won't put a roof over anyone's head or bring down those insane housing prices. By trying to stir up resentment between generations, Trudeau's just exposing how badly he's messed up making housing affordable for everyone. But Canadians won't let him off the hook. They're going to hold him accountable, not the seniors he's unfairly targeting. Well, that's all for now. What are your thoughts on Trudeau's housing plan now that leaked information has exposed flaws? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you haven't, please subscribe and leave a like for this video. Your support helps us continue our work. You can also subscribe to our newsletter, where we share daily uncensored and unbiased news straight to your inbox. You can find the link in the description below. Thanks again for your support, and I'll see you in the next one.